So hello, welcome back to Blake's Den. Um, wasn't sure whether to do this video or not, but I decided to do it anyway. Uh, this is my 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe 2.7 V6. So this car was off the road for seven years and I got it back working again and I've now turned it into my daily driver. So there's a link above to the videos showing you that. And I thought I'd just give you a review of it really. Um, I've had it MOT for a year now, it's just past its, its this year's MOT and everything seems fine with it. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour. So this is the 2.7 V6. Uh, it's about 170 horsepower. So it's not super powerful, but it is the four wheel drive and it's a proper all wheel drive system. It's engaged all of the time. And it also has a limited slip differential in the rear as well. Um, which means it should be quite good off-road. I've never actually taken it off-road yet. Um, I have fitted these tyres to it. So they are uh, called Ev Event ML698. And they are quite chunky tyres. They were a bit of an eBay bargain. Wheels, £20 a set. Tyres, £20 a set. Uh, actually cost me more to fit them, so I think it was £30 for fitting. So, um, yeah, I've been out in the snow on them and they're quite quite good, plenty of traction. Um, but of course with lockdown and all of that, I haven't really been using this car much. I'm not commuting, it's only really been used for short journeys. Um, yeah, so I think I've done less than a thousand miles since the last MOT. Right, I'll show you the inside. So when I got this back on the road, uh, it was 30,694 miles, I think it was the MOT, and now it's on 31,620, so just about a thousand miles I've done this year, just under a thousand miles. Um, say I haven't been commuting in it, it hasn't really had an awful lot of use. Uh, so this is the interior, so we've got the standard Hyundai stereo, we've got the Climate control and aircon, the aircon doesn't work, it needs regassing. We've got the uh, leather seats and we've also got the heated seats. And then we've got a four speed auto, really old school four speed auto, very lazy. And that's got the sort of Tiptronic mode over here. So this is the heart of it, the 2.7 V6 24 valve. Quite a smooth running engine. Uh, I haven't actually done much since I got it back on the road. I've given it an oil change and that's it. Oh, and a new battery and that's it. Um, I really should look at changing the timing belt on this. Uh, I'm playing sort of timing belt roulette at the moment. I believe it was changed just before the car was taken off the road. That was in 2012. So, yeah. 11 years, well, I'm sorry, nine years ago, so uh, probably could do with being looked at. Um, I'm not too fussed because the car doesn't owe me anything, so if it goes, it goes. If it's fine, it's fine. So, um, but yeah, I think now that I've got a clean MOT on this for this year, I think I will this summer or this spring, I'll change the timing belt. So, this is round the back. Um, one thing I have done, I've had a tow bar fitted actually paid somebody to do that and I've, I've actually towed with it quite a few times it's an excellent tow car provided that you don't look at the miles per gallon when you're towing in terms of miles per gallon it is 20 20 is what I've averaged on miles per gallon so I don't think that's too bad considering the size of the car and the shortest journeys I've been doing one thing I really do like at the back here, it's got this clever back window. So you, you press down there and you can do that. Or you can shut that and do that instead. So quite a big boot, lots of space in there. Uh, quite often have the back seats down and lots of stuff in it. So one modification I have actually done on this since fitting the tow bar it's to do for reverse parking sensor. So if I walk up to the car now, I've got it in reverse. So imagine when, you, when you're towing and you, as you're reversing the trailers on, it's doing that all the time. So what I've done, I've just fitted a little switch. There we are. 
just a little switch there next to the toilet little power socket just to disable them. I think they're actually aftermarket parking sensors, maybe the dealer fit option. Um, but yeah, on and off. I do need a new sticker going on. So yeah, that was uh, a very useful modification. So since getting this back on the road, I haven't even had to change any of the bulbs. Um, I did clean up the headlights. They had like uh, mossy stuff all over them. And I did sort of tea cut them back. The headlamps are terrible. I definitely need to change the bulbs, but all the bulbs were fine. I've had to change one fuse and that was the fuse for the rear fog lights. And I think it went funny when the guy was fitting the tow bar. Uh, and that's the uh, the only thing I need to do. I haven't actually even washed this since I power washed it prior to its MOT last year. It's got lots of um, sort of mossy stuff growing on here. I think it, it really needs to be tea cut back. Um, that's a job I'm going to do this year now that I know I'm going to be keeping the car a little bit longer. So that's about it really. Um, it's not a car I ever thought I would end up owning. Um, and I don't think it's a car I'd actually buy, but since I've got it and I'm using it, it's actually not that bad really. Very reliable, so amazing Korean reliability. It's actually quite comfy, it's quite smooth to drive if it being an auto. It's not a bad place to be, it just doesn't look particularly nice. Um, so hopefully I'll get a few more years use out of this yet. It's not getting a lot of use at the moment. Um, things I want to do to it. The clock, digital clock has stopped working, so that needs to come out and be sorted. Uh, say I want to clean it, wash it, uh, tea cut it, change the timing belt, change the auxiliary belt, maybe it's the water pump. And, and that's about it really. So, so I'm going to leave it there, so it was just a very quick video, um, but I just wanted to give an update on this. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.